Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to take a look at an M.2 SSD from our friends over at Corsair. So thank you to them for sending over a unit to have me take a look at. So here we have the Corsair MP600 Pro XT 2TB M.2 NVMe SSD. This guy is PCIe Gen 4 with 7.1 gigabytes in sequential reads and sequential writes up to 6.8 gigabytes. This M.2 is stupid fast. Let's see what we find out. So M.2 SSDs, now this may seem like a given, especially in today's world, but who doesn't run some form of NVMe or non-volatile memory express storage in their system? Your boot drive should be at least. Now I can give a nod to those that have a large capacity spinner drive, but the primary OS needs to be on an NVMe M.2 drive for the best user experience, not to mention system speed. So this is Corsair's third offering this year in the realm of M.2 NVMe SSDs. First came the MP600 core, which was fast, but just barely faster than the older PCIe Gen 3 higher ended M.2 NVMe SSDs. The issue with the MP600 core was with its 3D QLC NAND memory, which is speed has been known to quite drastically slow down after 50% capacity. Then the MP600 Pro was released. Now we're talking 7 GB read and 5.5 GB writes. Using 3D TLC NAND memory, this meant much better quality, durability, and speed. Now, Corsair wasn't done yet. Updated into two versions of the MP600 Pro XT, both being on the PCIe 4.0 interface, one with an air-cooled, chonky heatsink, and one with a pre-installed water block. The one we're taking a look at today is the air-cooled version in the 2 terabyte capacity. Corsair this round has decided to use a really good controller, the Fizen PS 5018-E18 in all variants and capacities of the MP600 Pro XT. This controller is fast, running a 32-bit ARM Cortex-R5, which is actually three CPUs, making this Fizen controller rated for speeds up to 7.4 gigabyte reads and seven gigabyte writes. So just looking at this information, it looks like we might possibly see a MP600 Pro XTX model with increased speeds in the future. The MP600 Pro XT comes in capacities of one terabyte, two terabyte, as well as the monstrous four terabytes while using Micron's NAND memory. While read times stay consistent throughout the entire product stack, write times on the one terabyte model are slowed down to 5.8 gigabyte writes. 4K random reads are rated up to 1 million IOPS on all models except for the one terabyte model, which is rated up to 900K IOPS, while four kilobit random writes on all models are rated up to 1.2 million IOPS. Another difference between each model is the TBW rating, i.e. write endurance, which the one terabyte is rated for 700 terabytes, the two terabytes at 1400 terabytes, and the four terabyte is rated for 3000 terabytes. Now don't be alarmed at the lower numbers of the one and two terabyte models. Think of it this way, if you wrote one terabyte a month to your SSD, it would take you 58.3 years to kill that drive. Better yet, on the two terabyte model, 116.7 years. The four terabyte model is just staggering at 250 years. I know this not to be a problem with anyone I know. Looking at the build quality of the MP600 Pro XT as well, the closest comparison that I can think of is a tank. Yep, this guy is built tough. The first and most identifiable feature of the MP600 Pro XT is the aggressive heatsink in a matte black finish. The heatsink alone weighs 57 grams or two ounces with a total weight of 68 grams or 2.4 ounces. The way the custom heatsink is designed seems to be very airflow oriented with air being able to flow through the 10 fins to maximize surface area. The bottom of the MP600 Pro XT is an aluminum plate to hold the heatsink in place, but this also acts as a heatsink as well. I should also mention the Hydra X version of the MP600 Pro XT, which has a water block pre-installed for water cooling enthusiasts to take advantage of. Stripping the heatsink away, which mind you, was really easy, shows all the components such as the eight channel Fizen PS5018-E18 controller, eight Micron 3D 176 layer TLC NAND flash memory modules, complemented by the two gigabytes of SK Hynix DDR4 RAM cache memory. All that hardware is housed on the M.2 standard 2280, running at the newest NVMe 1.4 protocol. Corsair includes a utility called Corsair SSD Toolbox. Original, right? 
Aside from the unoriginal name, the software looks a little bit outdated, however it does seem to give the end user a lot of good information about the drive. Model number, serial number, firmware version, drive size, temp, and total reads and writes are all at the end user's fingertips. If over provisioning, optimization, or updating the firmware is needed, this utility does that as well. For the test bench, I'll be running an Intel i5-11600K on the EVGA Z590 Dark motherboard. Review coming soon. The RAM will be T-Force's Excalibur RGB 16GB DDR4 3600MHz kit. Also from Corsair is the IQH150i Elite LCD CPU AIO. This review on that also is coming soon. For benchmarks, I'm going to run a few of the well-known ones. Crystal Disk Mark, Auto Disk Benchmark, and AS SSD. Pricing. I saved this one for last on purpose. In today's chip shortage world, I guess anything is really possible. Price at a starting price of $184.99 for the one terabyte air-cooled version on Corsair's website is a little bit more than slower competitor SSDs, but right in line with other SSDs in the same speed class. Moving up to the two terabyte model, the MP600 Pro XT dethroned the ever popular Samsung 980 Pro at the same price point of $369.99. Now, the four terabyte model priced at a whopping $939.99 is a lot of bank to drop. But this market is a lot less crowded and you are gonna pay a hefty premium if this is the drive you're after. Well, all good things must come to an end. In the case of the Corsair MP600 Pro XT, it really doesn't have to. This drive is by far one of the fastest you are going to be able to buy in its class. Speeds almost got to the advertised speeds. Temperatures never really got higher than 44 C, so that's a great thing, especially with that chonky heatsink. Overall, the Corsair MP600 Pro XT is a very fast, good-looking M.2 SSD. IMO, I would skip the 1TB model and go straight to the 2TB model for the best performance-to-price ratio, which also made it really easy to order the must-have award. Well done, Corsair. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for my look at Corsair's MP600 Pro XT M.2 NVMe SSD. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. As always, don't forget to subscribe and like so we can keep on giving you content that you want. Thanks again. I'm Ryan with Extreme Hardware, and I'll see you in the next one.